you like depth sounds? I love this part. Uh, If you spend any time on TikTok, you've probably heard one of the many trending songs by Deftones. In the past two years, they've gathered over 30 million listens just through TikTok alone. But why is a band that's over 30 years old blowing up with Zoomers? It's not what you're expecting. Flashback to the year 2000, people are playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Malcolm in the Middle is on the TV, and every high school aged boy is either cosplaying as Slim Shady or blasting new metal. You've got Limp Biscuit fans, your Adidas tracksuit wearing corn fans, the OG Linkin Park fans, and those screaming Arminians that really hate the Hollywood industrial complex. But little did anybody know, an album by the band Deftones was about to rock everybody's world. We're talking about the one and only no, not that one. We're talking about the one and only. No, not that one. We're talking about the one and only White Pony. The album was under the genre of new metal, but it was so much more than that. Unlike other new metal, which was trying to be edgy, the image of Deftones was dark, more atmospheric, and about breaking stuff while also being sexy and moaning a lot, and taking the wire from the microphone and wrapping it around your hand and and kind of breathing into it really close. Now, if you're a Zoomer like us, you weren't old enough to experience this stuff when it was new. We had the misfortune of growing up with Hot Topic while it was in that awkward phase of being a Deadpool Funko Pop warehouse that just happened to have a Sleeping With Sirens or Semper Eternal shirt on the floor. Too young to enjoy new metal at its peak, but just in time to be subjected to MK Ultra style programming of goth girl supremacy in children's cartoons. That's right, I'm talking about Grippy Gwen, Sam from Danny Phantom, government named Daniel Fenton, Shigo, the Hex Girls, Raven. And if you grew up with Discovery Kids like me, uh, whatever that girl's name was from Growing Up Creepy. You really just had to grow up with these shows to understand how many of them had female goth characters. It's almost like the people writing these shows had something they were trying to tell us. Regardless, these characters were there to be relatable. By the 2000s, being alternative was so commercialized in our culture that it was inaccurate not to have some sort of character with a skull shirt or dyed hair and a piercing. There's always going to be that one kid that doesn't relate to the normies, and these characters are meant to show that that kid wasn't alone, even if they would get no bitches as an adult. Now, you might be wondering, hey, goth girls and cartoons, I just wanted to learn about Deftones. But what if I told you there was a Gen Z cartoon to Deftones Enjoyer pipeline? Many of these future Deftones enjoyers thought that these cartoon characters were cool or attractive because they were bombarded with them at an impressionable age and grew a connection with them. And as these kids grew up, they started identifying more and more with the alternative style that they were exposed to and started to seek out the alternative music associated with it. Maybe you're a girl who is looking for something heavier than Vic Fuentes and Pierce the Veil, or maybe you're a guy who spent a bit too much time on underwater basket weaving forms dedicated to music. Either way, these paths would eventually lead them to becoming Deftones fans. The way that these kids matured into Deftones is almost like how millennials grew up into adults who would use the word amazeballs and talk about how hard adulting is. And when you think about it, it's no wonder that the goth mommy GF meme and other variations became totally mainstream by the late 2010s and are still being made to this day and are totally burnt. How to talk to emo and goth bitches. So now everyone's grown up a bit and we have all these alt teens and young adults and then all of a the sudden they get access to TikTok which made it absolutely explode again. TikTok gives you the opportunity to flex how cool and obscure your music taste is. So of course it was inevitable that these same Zoomers would post their favorite alt music. It's as simple as one girl with black eyeliner posting a video using Change in the House of Flies as a sound to rally up all the Deftones fans like wildfire. It starts with the first wave of girls making Deftones posts. Then the second wave with guys making Deftones posts to simp for the first wave of girls. And then the third wave, like many other trends, is normies from both sides trying to cash in. And now we have massive artists like The Weeknd or Trippy Red talking about their love of Deftones as well as the super trendy and tapped in underground rappers like Destroy Lonely or White Destroy Lonely claiming Deftones influence. Now obviously it's possible that these artists just like Deftones for the music and aesthetics by itself. And they most likely do. But it's also really cool right now to say that you take inspiration from Deftones because they're trendy. Between the alt kids, the smaller influencers, and the big celebrities, it all snowballs into Deftones being popular again. And now the band is headlining sold out festivals and filling up arenas with both new and old fans, despite the band being over 30 years old. So the TikTok effect is definitely working in their favor. In a roundabout way, the same people that were into these goth cartoon biddies who, let's be honest, probably would have liked Deftones, 
are now more real people with a real sense of identity and community with cool music to go along with it. All these people coming together for the sake of thirsting over a woman with black eyeliner, which isn't exclusively goth or even really that alternative. Nowadays, it's pretty much just the most basic way to signal that you're not like a, you know, a basic Starbucks girl. But come to think of it, Deftones isn't really goth or gothic metal. In fact, someone argued that it's not even new metal and the band themselves don't really identify with that and to see themselves as like this more transcendental sound overarching all of that. Yeah, you know, I got this cool band I wanted to show you. It's called uh, Deftones. Check this one out. Uh...